Hey, what's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is my beautiful wife, Sarah, and we are in South Dakota, and that okay. is Mount Rushmore. We came up here to meet up with a great friend of mine, Seth McGinn, Terry Quinn, Andy, Tim, whole pile of awesome people, and Chad Mendez. Chad, Chad Mendez, that's very good. <laughs> But we came up here for a deer hunt, and this is actually our last day. We're going to the airport, but this I can promise you, we had a blast, and the action begins right now. Anytime I'm hunting, I like to come out and just take a few shots with my bow. Just gives me confidence. It's like a golfer before a match, going out, taking a few swings, just knowing that everything's working right. And in Florida, very seldom do I wear, you know, a head cover and gloves. So whenever I come here, I want to practice the way I'll be hunting. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Acorns are dropping right now, the deer are feeding on them, and we're gonna get in here early. So I've never hunted this stand before. First thing I wanna do is range stuff so that I know in my head I can shoot there, that's 29 yards. Shoot there, 33 yards. Everything in here, first pin. So I'm just trying to make a mental note of what's going on. It's two o'clock in the afternoon. It gets dark at seven. We got five hours to get it done. trail like that. The wind's coming this way. I can't shoot him there. He'll be able to see me. So I'm going to let him walk past, draw, and shoot there. Just thinking. Hopefully it happens. It's very important to know where your wind is going at a moment like this. Because if, if you see the coming around and it's a shooter you've got to be able to get your shot before it gets into your wind knowing your surroundings and being prepared is a huge part of being successful
Uh. Winter, winter, chicken dinner. Dead as a stone. Uh. I am so tickled right now. Like, I was able to harvest a doe, I harvested a buck, I'm tagged out, and tomorrow we're heading home and I get to see my girls. What a blessed, blessed day. This was all about the fellowship, the camaraderie, the good times of hunting camp. Now, could have I shot a bigger deer? Heck yeah. But am I happy with this one? abso freaking lootly Shooting my Diamond Carbon Deploy. I'm using the uh, Carbon Express Mayhem 350s with the Rage 2 blades. And obviously, I love my Green Nocturnals. And what I encourage all of you to do be a part of scouting and setting up and be a part of the hunt, trailing the deer, finding the deer, uh, you know, processing the deer, cooking the deer. Be a part of every bit of it and you will be so connected to your meat and every bite will be so delicious and so gratifying. If you want to see me process this deer, there will be a link in the description below. If you just want to see me cook it, We'll see you in the kitchen. I love you guys and I appreciate you being a part of my life and a part of my channel. I am beyond happy right now. All right, you guys, so we just got here to the airport in Rapid City and we're trying to weigh in. This is our bag full of deer meat, but it's seven and a half pounds over. So I'm like, I know that's gonna sound weird, would anyone like a fresh piece of deer meat? And Connie was like, Yeah, bring it, <laughs> bring it. So let's get her a nice piece of deer oh, meat. sweet. Her We're husband is actually hunting for elk right now too. Done, done and done. So you is got a enough? nice piece of meat there. Will you, oh, will you go cook that? I will, I will bring it back awesome. to everyone. I will. Hey, Knox. <laughs> Look, you guys, that's what hunting is all about. Is. Gathering meat, having a great time, making friends, and next, next time we're in Rapid ah. City, we're gonna come see Connie. That's yeah. right, yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right, you guys, so we are back from South Dakota, and I've got all my meat right here. now. I gotta admit, we cooked a bunch of this meat yesterday out at camp, grilled it up. It was so amazing, I can't even express it to you. But while I was cooking last night, I thought, hold on, I got an idea. So, that's what I'm doing tonight. Check this out, hold on. Very, very, very few people ever use that piece of meat right there. And there's two of them in here. I'm gonna cook them both at the same time, I think. Yep, here's the other one. Now, these are the two rear shanks. Okay. Look at Emma. Emma comes in here, she's like, hold on, did I hear someone talk about deer meat for dinner? <laughs> I want some of that. I wanna make sure all this is nice and dry. Very important. All right, good deal. Now, before we keep going cooking this, I wanna let you know, I've teamed up with Bowtech. Bowtech owns Diamond Archery and Excalibur crossbows. I personally have been shooting the, the Diamond Carbon Deploy and I love that bow. And as soon as I'm done with my next hunt, I'm gonna give that bow to one of you guys. The deal is, we're trying to figure out, do you archery hunt? Are you interested in it? Are you not? Have you ever bought a bow? Do you... I just am trying to figure out if you guys are into this or not, do you like the archery videos? Because I killed my first deer when I was 10 years old with a bow and arrow. I love archery hunting, just like I love my girls. And I love you guys, and I appreciate y'all. So the more I can figure out about you, the better I can make my videos for you. So there's a quiz, there's a link to a quiz in the description below. It's like four or five questions, it's super easy, and if you fill out that quiz, you're gonna be entered to win the brand new flagship Bowtech bow, which is the most highly advanced, most awesome bow and arrow in the world. So, it's even better than the one I'm shooting, so. Uh, anyway, it would mean a lot to me if you filled that out, and I would know more about you. Love you. Let's keep cooking, though. Once your shanks are all nice and dry, take some olive oil, a little bit, or a lot, it doesn't matter, and give them a little bath in it. Just let them like, let them roll around in it. And what's gonna happen with the olive oil is, the olive oil 
will help your seasoning stick. You can tell my girls are getting hungry because then they're about to start fussing. I'm using a little bit of Everglades Original and I'm also gonna throw some Everglades rub on there. This rub is so stinking good. Oh yeah. Falling in love, y'all. There it is. Let's go throw this sucker on the grill. So this is what we've got. This is our little gravity grill. My buddy Seth McGinn actually came up with this and I've been testing it out for him. I'm gonna let that grill nice and slow for about half an hour. Um, all I've got to do is lower this and it'll get hotter, but I don't want to cook it real hot. I just want to get that nice smoky mesquite flavor coming off them charcoals, grill it down, and then we'll finish it up in the oven. Look at that, y'all. Whoo! Oh, and hey, check out our bunny. That's Kid. I already named him Kid. But there are our shanks grilled down nice. They're not done, but they're nice and crispy. And then what we want to do is we want to take this rascal here, put it there, take this one, put it just like that. Honey gold potatoes. And just sort of like, this is a whole sweet Vidalia onion, and you can just put that all around there, just like that. <clears throat> Heck yeah, boy. Then this is a shallot. For those of you wondering, a shallot is like a very flavorful baby onion, and they just, they're wonderful. Then we have four or five cloves of garlic that's peeled and smashed, and we'll just put that in there. Out like that. This is some broth that we made out of deer bone. It's amazing. Roasted down those those uh, shoulders with rosemary and thyme, onion. It's insane. Absolutely phenomenal. And what we'll do? We don't want to fill this pan up. That. That's the shiny side. That's not. Make sure the shiny side is down. Make sure it's nice and tight. Lock in the flavor. Open your oven. 325 degrees. That will be the love potion. Hey, so I am speaking to all the parents out there. Do you feel like you accomplished something amazing when the kids are asleep and happy and you're sitting there with your wife watching TV and you've got a nice meal cooked? I guarantee you, I feel like just heaven tonight. Fresh deer meat for dinner coming straight out of the oven. That right there is part of the deer that most everybody in the world throws in a gut bucket. Look, look at the color, look at the juice. My mouth is watering right now, y'all. Take a couple nice little potatoes, take some carrots. All right there, that is dinner. Venison shank. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for this wonderful food. Thank you for a great trip and a great hunt. Thank you for this deer. Please keep us safe and nourish this food to our body in Jesus' name. Yeah. All right, you guys, let's see what Sarah thinks. Look how good that is. So what do you think? It's really good. It tastes just like that. Gross. It was really good. Fun fact, I used to hate mushrooms before I met Rob. Now I love them. And this is what it's all about, y'all. That's what our life is all about. That's what food, dinner, deer meat for dinner, and the Arringtons are all about. 
So I appreciate you for hanging out with us. I thank you for spending tonight with us. This is good stuff, man. This is really good. But that's all we got for you tonight. Take care. God bless. We are gone.